All right, so on this example, ladies and gentlemen, if you remember from our quiz, oh, I didn't go over the quiz yet, yeah, did I? No. I got to do that. So um, let's go over this then real quick. Let's go and knock this out. So main important thing, guys, on your test and on your quiz, what we talked about is sketching the information. Again, we have our vertices. Let's graph the vertices. Negative 3, 2, 1 vertice, and 1, 2. Based on this information alone, am I now able to identify um, if my transverse axis is horizontal or vertical? Yes, transverse axis always runs through my two vertices. So it's horizontal. That's very important because now do I know what equation to use? Yes, right? Because A is now uh, going to be under the x. The other thing is, now that I know my two vertices, can I figure out where my center is? Yes, yes the center is always in between your two vertices. So um, then we know that the distance from the center to your vertice is going to equal, it's going to be a, which in this case is equal to, how far is it? Uh, two. two. So remember for the equation, of a, um, the equation of a hyperbola, we need to know the center, which in this case we figured out by that's being the um, midpoint of our two vertices, which is at negative 1, 2. Remember, that's your h and that's your k. Okay? We know a is equal to 2, because that's the distance from your center to your vertice. But we know we also need to figure out what b is, correct? Mm -hmm. So we know the conjugate axis is 2 squared of 3. But we've got to remember, what does the conjugate axis represent? The conjugate axis represents the minor axis, but it's the distance between co-vertice to co-vertice. So think about it, guys. If distance from center to vertice is a, then distance from vertice to vertice would be 2a. So if distance from center to co-vertice is b, distance from co-vertice to co-vertice would be 2b. So therefore, 2b is equal to 2 square root of 3. Divide by 2, divide by 2. b is equal to the square root of 3. However, for the equation, we know we just need to figure out what b squared is. So b squared is equal to 3. Now, we just write in our equation. So again, since we have a transverse axis that's horizontal, we know that our a squared is going to be under our x. So we'll have x minus negative 1. So actually, I'll just write it. I'm just going to write it as is. So we have x plus 1 squared all over a squared, which is 4, um, minus y minus k k, which is 2, squared, all over my b squared, which is 3, equals 1. And that's it. OK? How do I do what?